Okay, in this problem, we are asked to draw the force vectors exerted on Q1 and to calculate the net force on Q1. It says to just set up the force equation, but don't calculate it, but we're going to calculate it for this video. So um, I'm not going to rewrite the givens. I'm just going to write here given uh, with the information there. And um, I'm going to write uh, find, let's see, find. Um, the force vectors, so force vectors, and the net force, F net on Q1. <clears throat> okay, so for A, I'm just going to draw the box again. So this is going to be Q1, this is going to be Q2. Oh, this is Q3, Q4, and so this is a square. So we know that each of the sides are equal. Um, so, um, so this is Q1. I'm just going to draw Q1 over here so I, I know. Um, this is Q2, this is Q3, this is Q4. Okay, so Q1, I can see, is a negative charge. So this is a negative. So um, and so I know that Q1 and Q3 are both negative. So I can, I can learn that. to understand you much better. Uh, so Q1 is negative and Q3 is negative. So the force on Q1 here um, due to Q3, they're both negative. So the force on Q1, Q3 is going to push it away. So I'm going to have a force vector. We're going to call this force of three, force on, force by three onto one. So by charge three onto one. Um, if I look at the force on Q1 due to Q2, so Q1 here is a negative charge and Q2 is a positive charge. So Q2 is going to pull Q1 towards it. So I'm going to have an arrow that looks like that. And this is going to be F of, um, two on one. And then same thing with Q4. My Q4 is a positive charge and Q1 is negative, so it's going to pull down this way. So I'm going to draw that like that. And this is going to be F of four on one. Um, so you can see all of my arrows are, uh, my force vectors are on Q1 because that's the, that's the, um, what we're asked about, draw the force vectors exerted onto Q1. So all of these char other charges, Q2, Q3, and Q4, either push or pull on Q1. And so we're drawing those, those arrows. So if we want to think about the, um, if we want to think about how do we calculate F net, we need to break this up into components. So let's, um, let's say we have this F net is equal to the sum of the forces on on Q1. I can look on Q1. So I'm going to have three forces. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to use column vectors and let's look at say, um, let's see, grab this. And so let's say we're looking at that this vector right here. We can see it's only in the x direction, and we'll let's say that this direction is the positive x direction, so positive x. Um, so we're going to have just f to one. So this is f to one. Um, go and so we're going to f2 f2 one and we're going to have let's make this let's change this a little bit so i can have all three f i can have x y and z here so i'm going to have f2 one and then that vector only has the x component so i might my, my y and z components are zero and the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to do this one f4 one so i'm going to say plus F4, 1. If, look, if I look at it, it is only in the y direction, so I'm going to have 0 and then 
I'm going to say this is negative f4, 1, and 0. So when I calculate f4, 1, it's, I'm calculating a positive number because I'm taking care of the negative right here with this negative sign. I can learn to understand pointing, you much. Because it's pointing down. I can learn to. And so the last one I'm going to have is plus I know for um, F31 right here, right, I'm going to have an X component and a Y component. So let's figure that out. Um, I'm going to have, let me move this. So I can make, I can think about the components of this F31 as a triangle, right? So this is going to be my X component. This is going to be my Y component. And, um, and I know this is going to be my angle. And my theta, because this is a square, my theta is going to be 45 degrees. So theta is equal to 45 degrees, right? And that's because each of my sides of my square are the same. So when I extend this out, I'm going to extend out 45 degrees. So I'm going to have an x and a y component. So I'm going to say, okay, I have f31 in that x direction and F31 in the Y direction. And I'm gonna have zero here. And so this is my, let me just move this down. Um, so that's gonna be my F net. Okay, and, and so my F21, let's look at now, what is the, what are the values of F? So my um, F, F21 is equal to K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. So that's right here, that's this arrow that I'm calculating the magnitude of. It's just the using Coulomb's law. But that's also the same as this one because my charges are the same, right? So Q1 and Q2 and Q3 and Q4 are all um, six millicoulombs. So my Q's are all the same. So I can say then that this, oops, uh, do that. This is also equal to F41. And now the one that's different is F31. Notice that, um, that F31, the R, the distance away, is this distance. And so um, this is going to be the square root of using the Pythagorean theorem of one side squared. And so the sides are, if we look 0 0.1, so I'm gonna have 0 0.1 squared plus 0 0.1 squared. So that's gonna be my diagonal. So F31 is going to equal KQ1, Q3 over, so R, so this, uh, let me just fix this right here. So this is going to be r squared. And here, oops, we're going to have, so um, I'm going to have r squared plus r squared, and then I'm going to square it. So that's going to be k q1. Q2 over, so this is going to be r squared times the square root of 2. So I've just factored out and pulled out a, an r squared, and then I'm, but I'm still left with the, with the square root of 2, but that's also squared. Oh, I keep touching the wrong things. This is squared. So F31, then, so F31 is equal to K. Q1, and I messed that up too, so this is still 3. Okay, Q1, Q3 over 2R squared. Okay, so when I'm thinking about, that's, that's F31, but now what about F31X and F31Y? So F31X is just F31 
times cosine theta. So looking back at my drawing here, right? So I'm, I'm looking for this piece right here of F31, and I've got um, the angle is 45 degrees, and, I'm, and so I'm really looking for the cosine of 45 degrees times F31 for the X component, and then the same for the Y because the angle is 45 degrees. So this is going to be F31 sine 45. So I'll go back. And we're going to say F31 Y is equal to F31 sine of 45, sine of theta. We haven't plugged in yet. So I'm going to plug those into my F net is equal to, so F21 is now K, Q, Q, Q. So I'm just going to use Q because all of the Qs are the same. So I'm going to say this is K, Q squared over R squared. And let me see if I can extend this a little bit. Let's do 0, 0. Plus, now I'm going to do the middle one. So that's going to be 0. And this is going to be, again, k q squared over r squared, and 0. And then this one I'm going to have, well, this should be a plus. So k q squared over 2r squared times cosine of 45. Oops. Let's see. Times cosine of 45. And the y is going to be kq squared over 2r squared sine of 45. And the z is going to be 0. So my F net, I can factor out the KQ, the KQ squared over R squared. Let's do, instead of that, let's do, uh, oops. let's do a parentheses. So I'm, I'm factoring that out and I'm going to have one, zero, zero. And let's look back just for a quick second. So my for, my f this one my f21 is in the positive x direction now my y f41 is in the negative y direction so when i go back here this one looks correct the next one is going to be 0 minus 1 0 and this next one is going to be um, cosine of 45 over 2 sine of 45 over 2 and 0. Now let's look at the signs. So I see here this sign right here is going to be negative and the y, so the x component's negative, the y component's positive. So the x component's negative and the y component is positive. Great, so I have F net then is equal to K Q squared over R squared. And then we have 1 minus cosine 45 over 2 and one, negative 1 plus sine 45 over 2. And for the Z, we have 0. And so now we can plug our numbers in. And I'm going to let you continue on with that. Um, but we can see here that um, if we look at cosine 45 over 2, that is going to be cosine of 45 is um, 0 0.707. Um, and sine of 45 is 0 0.707, so they're the same. So here, 1 minus cosine of 45, um, that's going to be greater than 1, or sorry, greater than 0. So this x component is going to be positive. So this is a positive number. 
And this um, negative one is, go is bigger than sine of 45, so this part is going to be negative. So what that tells me is that I'm going to have a net in the positive x direction. So I'm going to come over here like this. Positive x direction, negative y direction. So my net force, f net, is going to point down and away. And that makes sense because when I look back at my example here, right, the, the um, vectors this way and this way don't cancel. And that's because the distance from here to here, right, is larger. And that means that the force is going to be smaller. So the x um, and the y components are going to be smaller in this case compared to the net that goes this way due to this force and that force. So that makes sense. So I'll leave the rest of the math um, to you to complete in the problem. Um, and you're just going to plug in k, your q values. Remember that millicoulombs is 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Your r values and just your, uh, your values for cosine and sine of 45.